this might be the only chance to get meat for Matt and I. country of untamed jungle stretching for over 1,600 miles from its north border with China. The tropical lowlands are also home to a variety of deadly animals like the leopard, giant scorpion, and cobra. <laughs> How did they even get this thing back here? I don't even see a trail. Oh, dude, here you go. Check this out. Here's their problem. The fuel line got busted. That would cause a damper on a day. Yep, this is all gas down here. Now I know why this thing is not working. They're out of gas. Hmm. We know that this motorbike is completely inoperable, and it's time to take it apart and get anything we can off of it to take with us. Well, we've got a, it's like a big climbing rope of some kind. Why don't we grab some of this tubing, and we could suck the water out of any rocks that we see, like rainwater. Yeah, you know sounds I mean? good. Here in this jungle, during the hot part of the day, we're hitting triple digits. That means we're gonna lose water extremely fast. I'd say we've actually lost at least a pint of water just in the time we've been working on the bike. I feel like it's late enough in the day, and we got so much stuff here to deal with. I think we should make camp here. My whole philosophy in survival is to take down brush as soon as you get in a situation. Looks like there's some banana plants up there. So I'm thinking fruit, potentially water, two in one. The trunk of the banana palm sits at ground level and once cut down, the roots will continue to pump it full of water loaded with electrolytes, vital minerals that get lost with perspiration. I'm actually getting sprayed with water. This is awesome. Now, I don't want to take out too much of the moisture with the knife, so I'm going to try to open up the hole with the stick. All that nice banana water right there. I'm going to let that settle up. It's already starting to accumulate quite a bit. Ah, oh, that's really nice. All around this area is huge bamboo stands, so I'm going to cut a section of this and I'll have a water container. So I'm gonna slurp it up with a straw, spit it out. Joe's gonna have to be happy with that. A little banana water and saliva never hurt anybody. My so right now, my priority is to get this fire built, throw some of those tires on her, get some smoke up in here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm shaving this bamboo. The smaller you can make these, the better. What you really want are those curly Q things right there. That's what you want. There's a little bit of gas in the fuel filter. So what I'm thinking is if I can create that arc from the spark plug wire, that may be an ignition point to get us a fire going. This is the first time I've done something like this, so there's no guarantees, but I really need this to work. Alright, I'm gonna let this start to burn. Once it gets cooking, I'm gonna throw on the tires and hopefully, you know, maybe somebody can see some black smoke. Let's see what kind of smoke this thing makes. This stuff's gonna burn for about 20 or 30 minutes. That means someone's gonna have to be looking in this direction, see the smoke, and then go investigate it. Now you're really starting to see that black smoke, and that's what I was looking for. And this is it. This is all we got. What's up, bro? Oh, nice. Took a little bit, but it worked. That's all that's left of the tires. Tell me you have water in there. I got some water. Good deal. There's a bunch of banana plants out on the hillside. I got some green bananas. They're not ripe, but we could travel with them for a bit. Matt's got water and he's got some green bananas, which is great. How did you get the water from inside the trunk inside the bamboo? Basically, I just took a straw and sucked it up and spit it in. 
A new day brings the realization that the signal fire went unnoticed. Why don't I start packing this stuff up, man, so we can get out of here. The plan for Matt and Joe now is to head east through the jungle towards the coast. Let's get down and check this out, dude. This is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, this is the first body of water we've seen. Certainly ain't gonna drink that crap, though. Looks a little murky. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could follow this for a while and gain some ground instead of breaking down jungle. Yeah. All right, man, let's follow this out and see where it takes us. Do you hear that? Yeah, that sounds like water. Every single time that I've heard the noise that I'm hearing right now, it's been either a waterfall or rapids. This might be really bad. Now I know what we're hearing. It's a waterfall. Joe, check this out. Oh, God. Now we're definitely not getting through there. Looks like we gotta swim. That's what I'm thinking. Up ahead is a channel that's probably chest deep and it's raging through with a lot of force. It doesn't look like Joe and I can go any further. So our only option is to swim around it. We can get around right here. Yeah. You see a landing point? Yeah, there's a little beach over there not far away. It's a couple hundred meters. That's good. All right. When we finally made that landing, there was huge relief. I was actually glad to see the jungle. I've got an idea for possibly getting us some food. I just need to grab a few things out of the backpack. Now that Matt and I have moved to the other side of the river, I'm seeing more animals, I'm hearing more birds, so I'm going to try to make an indigenous crossbow out of bamboo. I'll be right over here. There's only four components to this crossbow. You've got the body itself, you've got the limb. Oh, yeah. See how that's bending? You've got the string and you've got the trigger. This is the piece that you have to be really technical with. You can get away with being a little bit wrong with the, with the limb or the body of this thing, but when it comes to the trigger, it's got to be dead on. All right, and it sits just like so. Okay, so the string's gonna come back, it's gonna loop over this, and when I squeeze it, it's gonna release it. Oh yeah, that'll definitely take a small animal. My bow's done. The only thing I need to do right now is make some arrows, and I'll be good to go. In the lowland jungle of Vietnam, Joe attempts to harvest a porcupine with a traditional crossbow made of bamboo. This might be the only chance to get meat from that night. I club the thing over the head, and that is the end of it. These calories that this porcupine is gonna give us is huge. This is what victory feels like. So last night we had to build camp really quickly. So tonight I'm gonna to make sure we got the plush lounge, the finest lounge in all of Vietnam jungle. I'm gonna weave back and forth similar to the structure built last night, but the difference is it's optimal angle to sit back it's gonna be simpler setup. We're gonna be separated. We'll have our own little lounge chair here. Whenever you're stuck in a survival situation, it pays to take a little bit extra time, make your camp comfortable, make sure your beds are comfortable. It's really important you get a good night's sleep or else you're gonna wake up, you're not gonna feel as energized the next day, you're gonna feel a little bit loopy, make bad decisions. You wanna feel like you're living out here, not just surviving. Oh my, hey, look at you. Look at you. What is that? So it's left of a porcupine. Did you get it with that? Yeah, man. Look at that. I like it. Oh. That would be nice having those calories tonight. Yeah, no doubt. This is huge for us. Now we have calories to replace what we've lost. Take a load off, my friend. Wow, man. 
This is a pretty cool shelter, man. Right. I'm impressed, dude. Very nice. Is that a straw? It is. Our shelter last night might not have been the best, but Matt certainly made up for it today. If I gave this guy more time, there'd probably be a swimming pool and a bunch of rattan furniture. You hungry? I am, uh, yeah, All very right. hungry. Why don't I get to work? Sounds great, appreciate it. It's been a very long day for Matt and I. It's been very productive. We need to get some calories back inside of us and relax. Mm, nice job. Man, this is comfortable, Matt. I gotta tell you. 